Thousands of demonstrators for economic justice are filling the streets of the Israeli capital once again after nearly a two-month break. They're unhappy with the government's spending policies and they want Parliament to send next year's budget plan back to the drawing board. Let's get the latest from RT's Paula Sleer. She's in Tel Aviv. Hi there, Paula. Good evening. Good to see you tonight. Now, we saw nearly half a million protesters across the country back in September, didn't we? But they've since vowed to get reform by other means. So why are they back on the streets again tonight? It begs the question. As you say, this is the first time in nearly two months that social protesters have taken to the streets. As you can see behind me, there are tens of thousands of people here in Tel Aviv, as well as in cities across the country. Now, the last demonstration back in September, in early September, saw half a million people come to the streets of the country. Organizers were satisfied with that turnout. And after that, a lot of the protesters, many of them are university students, returned to classes. And things here did take a little bit of a lull. But certainly now, what we have seen in the last few hours is not only attention on what is happening internally here, the Israeli Air Force has also launched strikes on southern Gaza. Eleven people have been killed. Five of them are members of the Islamic Jihad organization that Israel holds responsible for a grad missile that was fired into Israel earlier in the week. The concern here, though, talking to people, is that this story of social demonstrations will now be missed by many in the international community as it focuses on what is happening externally. And certainly the mainstream international media is making a lot of what is going on on Gaza to the detriment of what is happening here. In the last few hours, there has been a volley of rockets fired from Gaza into southern Israel. Several people have been injured. Dozens of people are being treated. And with me to talk about this is Nicola Simmons, who is one of the social protesters. Nicola, why are you back on the streets after a two-month lull? The Knesset, the parliament, is returning from its recess tomorrow, uh, the day after, I mean. We just hope that they'll reconsider their budgetary considerations. Um, the problem has been that the budgetary considerations have been about partisan politics. They've been about pleasing the tycoons who seem to control everything. We want the budgetary considerations to consider just the general good of the country. Is this an admission that the demonstrations until now have not really achieved that much? The demonstrations have caused a huge amount of social awareness. There was the Trachtenberg report, which made some very, very nice concessions, but it just didn't go far enough. What about the protests happening in New York? Are you inspired by Occupy Wall Street? Well, it makes us happy that people are getting out on the streets to campaign for their own rights, for the governments to think about them rather than about themselves. Here in Israel, it's very, very important to realize we are not in economic recession. Our problem isn't that we don't have enough money. Our problem is that it's being mismanaged. The government decisions about what to do with the money is bad. This does differ from what's happening in Europe and in America, where they've just run out of money. What about these airstrikes in Gaza? I've been talking to people here and they say it's just convenient, the timing, that now when people are taking back to the streets, the Israeli army launches airstrikes on Gaza. For years, Israeli internal issues have been uh, neglected because there's always been a defense story. There always will be a defense story. It's not going to go away. I, from operating within the protests, I can tell you, the, internally, the protest movement is blind to the defense story. They just care about what's happening inside the country. The defense story is not going to go away. We're going to carry on whatever happens out in, externally. But I want to just remind you that back on August the 16th, when the social demonstrations here were at their height, Israel launched an airstrike then on Gaza as well. Now, we have been hearing that the demonstration that was planned tonight in Beersheba, which is a town not far from the Gaza border, has been cancelled. And there was concern here earlier in Tel Aviv that this demonstration too would be cancelled. But certainly when you hear the cries of people here, and, and really their slogan is, the people demand social justice, people here saying that the government can do what it wants to detract attention, but they certainly will not give up on what they say are very legitimate demands. OK, Artis Paul Sleer, they're live from the scene of a fresh social protest in Israel, talking to uh, social activist Nicholas Simmons, one of the organisers of the rally. Thank you both.